today we're checking out the 820, like I said. Is this a good bike? Who is this bike for? Um, the 820 is Trex entry level mountain bike. It's actually pretty good. It is more for a commuter. Actually the same shifting that is on the Merlin 5. So for what you're paying for, you're actually getting really good shifting. What makes this cheaper? What makes this cheaper is actually that it goes to a steel frame and 26 inch wheels. This comes stock with Trex LT3 tire set. It's definitely designed more for the roadways and light dirt paths. Suspension as well is downgraded, more basic SR Suntour, so it won't handle the trails as well. It actually has uh, rim brakes instead of disc brakes like the Merlin 5. Well, they're doing the non-integrated cables. It does come stock with the sport saddle, which is a little comfier, less sport based than the Merlin 5. Compared to the Merlin 5, which goes to the hydraulic disc brakes, integrated cables, all mountain ready tire. The 820 is definitely more commuter based. You can still definitely ride some minor trails with it, but the suspension is downgraded. The geometry is more comfy. Really the only two things that the Merlin 5 and the 820 share are the shifting, which is impressive. If you ended up with an 820, you can definitely do like lakeside paths and stuff. You're not gonna be aggressive with it but it's not a trail bike. It is a commuter bike, which can do the off-road side of things. Yeah, of course, the 820 is a steel frame, so it's aluminum, so you're gonna get minor weight differences. It's not huge. The 26 inch wheels won't roll over bumps as easy, but it's still pretty good. It lasted for many years as the popular wheel size. The Marlin is just better for today's trails. The 820 is based off the old bikes. It is doable, but it is more designed for a great little commuter, which will go anywhere and get you to the destination as opposed to keeping a bit of speed or having any performance over the, the bumps and trails and stuff. Keeps that price really low. It is doable with, but if you can push the budget, I'd go for the Merlin 5. So we're just finishing out today's video out here on the trail. It's a great evening. Sun's just setting behind me here. Um, today we looked at the 820, and the 820 is a really great bike uh, for the money you're paying, you're getting a fantastic shifting set, rim brakes, which get the job done eventually, and a 26 inch wheel, which was tried and tested for years and worked just fine. If you're looking for wide open trail, dirt paths, city riding, the 820 is the budget bike for everyone. It's got just enough suspension to take those hits. It's got just enough suspension to be smooth on trail, but not enough to take the big jumps. It's got a reliable shifting set, good range to it. It's a, honestly a pretty good bike. I wouldn't take it on aggressive downhill or even aggressive single track, but flat rideable trails, it's a really great bike option. The Marlin 5, if you're looking to do a bit more trails, keep that speed, roll over things easier, that's where you should go for it. If you're just looking for a budget bike to get out there, ride most of the time on streets, paths, or gravel or light trail, the 820 is gonna do it for you. It's honestly the longest tested bike ever. They've kept it true and they've kept it the same for a very long time and it works. It works really well for its super budget price. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish this ride before the sun sets. Um, hope you enjoyed this video If you did please subscribe it does help and like the video if you found it helpful Share it with your friends if they're trying to figure out if the 820 is the bike They can do what they need to do with it. All right guys if you like this video remember please subscribe and Like it does actually help and if you like this video You might like one of my other videos already made comparing the Marilyn series or the Roscoe series or Some of the higher-end bikes checking them out we're gonna start doing more on-trail reviews of the full suspensions hopefully coming up and uh, more tech guides as well as a bit of motorbike action. So keep an eye out for that. Um, comment below if you have any questions. Tell me if my camera's too shaky or not shaky enough. Switch to the GoPro Hero 8 for this last segment. Maybe you like it better than just a handheld uh, mirrorless. All right guys, good luck out there.